this is there with Bowtie Treasures. We are in the Bowtie Treasures studio, as we call it, and I'm so glad to be here. Hope you're here ready to hang out, chat, watch product demonstrations, you know, all the good stuff that we do up here on Friday nights. I am going to start working on some transfer work. Behind me, this is the uh, side of the dresser, and you can already see I did my it's not my signature shading, but I always love the shade. I've already done some work on that front. I did some shading on this decorative piece up here. Let's see if I can pull you guys in. You can see it up there. I have not done the other side, so that needs to be done, but I wanna do some transfer work on the front. One of the things about this transfer set is that it has two sheets that kind of have this corner element let me show you the other side. So you see how it kind of like comes down, but there's a lot of pieces, like just individual plants. And so we're gonna compose our own scene. I don't think I'm gonna go heavy with the butterflies. I don't think this piece needs a lot of that, but you, you never know. I always seem to say that kind of thing and then like, boom, there's flower. There are some butterflies and there's a bee here so i'm not going to cut those out but i don't know that i need to these are really meant to be cut out and pieced around so that's what we'll do i have put i have put the link if you would love to use that i put that into the description of this live so you can go straight to this particular transfer but you can obviously check all of dixie bell's transfers out and now the first thing I did was I just went ahead and cut out what I don't want. Let's get rid of this little bee. I don't think I'm going to do... If I do the bee, it'll be something I think about later on. The next thing I need to do is figure out exactly where. So I do know that I want to be at the bottom of the drawer, the edge of the drawer. And you can see we're going to come over this edge, the spine or whatever we call that. So I'll have to work on that, which is fine. And I'll do the other corner and then we'll fill in the middle. One of the things I was looking at tonight, check out the hardware, it's pretty, pretty cool. See if it'll focus on, there we go. So can I grab it? It was focused for a second. It's really cool hardware. Unfortunately, I do not have all four knobs. So I'm gonna have to get creative with that. It's amazing how you can go buy a dresser and just one was missing, it's like, Ur! but I didn't notice it. It was so close, but it was a modern, can't do that. So I'll probably find something that goes well with the transfer later on. I think that would be fun. Now, the other day I had a cutting board out and that worked really well, but for now I'm just gonna use my scissors and I wanna cut off the excess because I want this transfer to hit right at the bottom of the drawer. So that'll be move number one. Now, here's the deal. You can go ahead and cut this now, which is probably a good idea, or you can wait. I've done it both ways. Um, the key is just getting it all lined up, okay? So I felt like with at least this one, um, which is called Wildflowers and Butterflies, I could compose my scene a little bit better and go a little higher on this. So that's the advantage of, of what I'm doing. Uh, if you're not sure when you buy a transfer, I would definitely do your best to see if you can um, look at them in person or really study them online because uh, sometimes they, you'll have to make sure you understand that the transfers don't always have the entire set is not, a, what I'm trying to say is that the entire set may not look like it's rendered by the same artist. An example of that would be the sunflowers, not every sunflower piece in the sunflower set is inked or illustrated by the same artist if you will so sometimes like this style is very consistent I, I'm pretty pleased with that uh, the cherry blossoms is another one that the entire cherry blossom set is not the same art style so and that's fine because you you, you might want that variety so by all means but just make sure you understand that when you look at the set and that's what I was struggling with on the other one was that I just needed a little bit more consistency and then I wanted to make sure it was going to work for the height of the dresser I'm doing. 
So that might be a little extra information, but it's how we roll. Just want to get this started. I have, I clean this piece with white lightning, a coat of gray boss, and then two coats of buttercream. And as you know, the lighter the color, oftentimes the more coats you have to do. So I did, it, it kind of could use a slightly, two, like two and a half coats, but I think it's okay. For what I'm doing and for the age of the piece, I think it's okay. So I, as you noticed tonight, I rubbed this, I went over it a couple times, gave it a good, um, a good application. And the transfers are very easy to lift. So I'm just kind of looking, when I'm moving my hand right now, I almost could not. But out of habit, I like to just rub my stick around to make sure that I'm guiding it. It's almost like an inspection tool. But there are gonna be times where you just need to encourage it. See like right there, it's coming off pretty easily. Okay, again, a lot of this is just habit. Every once in a while, I'll see an area that needs to be pushed down. So it's good, just keep your stick up there and ready. Not that I have to constantly keep rubbing to make this work. I'm just kind of like inspecting it. Just don't go quickly at all. You don't wanna lift this transfer off, rip it or tear it. They're very durable, very pleased with it. Probably I'd say about 75% of the transfer sticks on the first couple run through rub downs. Some of it's gonna depend on the, how smooth your paint job is. Make sure your paint's really dry. Don't, don't rush the paint to dry before you put a transfer on. And the number one question I get oftentimes in this situation is did I seal first? And I usually only uh, top coat after I do the transfer. I'm not saying that that's required, but that's what I do. Looks good. One of the things that I've done before is I, you could use your hand. Sometimes I'll take a, a slightly used um, sanding sponge and you can use the sponge part if you want. Sometimes you could even use the sand part just to kind of get the edge off or to even go over it to make sure it's applied. But do make sure, you, you know, you just check it. There's a hole right there. I thought this was my transfer. But that looks great. What do y'all think? Okay, continuation, right? That's next. I haven't done a lot of repairs on this piece. Um, it was in fairly good shape. But the, it's antique. What do you expect, right? It's gonna be old. So the next thing I wanna do is just inspect where I want to make my next cut. And I can do that with my scissors. How about if we cut on this side? So I'm just cutting where that break is. Then I'm gonna go back to my cutting board. Using my reference, I want to match it up. Okay, so let's take the back off. So this is one of those projects where it's just going to develop in time. You know, tomorrow, I, I'd like to have it done by tomorrow, but probably by Sunday. My goal is, is I need to get it done by next week for sure, but I could just finish this project by doing two coats of buttercream top coating and be done, but we're going over the top of this, right? So just kind of giving it a quick, it's really kind of tricky in here. So let me start in the middle. I think that's my best bet. And I'll work from the middle over the edge. The problem is I probably could have gone a little longer, 
with the stencil because when you go around the, the red lip, it's eating into your real estate of your transfer. But I think we'll be okay. Here's hoping. All right. It was an average job on getting that applied. It's kind of tricky to have your dresser on the cart while you're... Okay, it's not 100% stuck, so I'm just gonna take my finger now, because it's round, and give it a rest. There's a little bit of cracking, but I'm so not sweating that at all, just because there's plenty of problems with this dresser. Okay, move along. <laughs> liking this I was kind of worried about it but um, yeah I got a little bit of cleanup to do but I, don't, I think that's coming along so distance view so this gave us a little bit of trouble and if you stand up if I stand up there's a gap there but again I don't think that's really an issue I think that'll work out really well so so far so good the next required element that I have to do is the left side. I cannot fill in the middle, in my opinion, until I get the left side done because I won't know what I have left. So we're gonna cut that out. It's gonna leave the bees off of it. Just gonna do a rough cut, nothing fancy here. When you're doing a transfer like this, you wanna always keep all the scraps because you just never know if you need to use that bee on another project, right? Hang on to those little creatures. You can see how I'm framing it in on the camera. And then we'll put s stems. So this could be hardware. In fact, if I can hang it in there. There's gonna be hardware right there. I'll polish it up, it'll look really nice. Maybe slightly disadvantaged would be that I have hardware going right here, covering up the top flower, but I think it's okay. The only remedy you could have done is maybe trim that flower out, but I don't think that people are gonna judge that aspect at all, so. So now I'm just going to go back, look for anything I may have missed. Kind of feel this one out. Feels good. Nice and smooth. Love the feel of it. All right. Got a little bit high on this one, but by the time I bend it, I think we're going to work. It's going to work its way out. shoving it in there. Probably enough. Let's keep an eye on it. Like I said, you don't need to have it be perfect. You just need it to not stick to the, the plastic anymore. Now I can finish it off. Okay, I'm excited. This is the last piece on this left side. Okay, just lining this up. Definitely need to go to the edge. Okay.
What do we think? Look at that. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think that, like I said, the, the reason I switched to this transfer because it gave me a lot of extra height and it helps help me frame where the other one I've thought about doing was going to be more of this and I didn't think that the bottom was really where I wanted to go and now we can have some more fun okay so as I mentioned before this transfer set comes with individual stems so at this point you can kind of pick and choose but I really like the I believe they're poppies and I think having See how the poppies are nice and tall? There's one here, there's a long one there. I don't have to do the whole stem. And then there's some of the small flowers with some bees. So I think what I wanna do is kind of just continue. I could either continue where I'm putting the focal point at this height or I can start tapering it down, maybe letting the keyhole. So that's the, that's the part next is to start framing it. Let me cut out this one poppy. So this, I've, I forgot about it, but this one has a butterfly. Don't tell them I'm keep, um, I'm not sure I want to keep that butterfly, but I'm going to keep it. So here, I don't want to go below, but I, you see, I'm kind of bringing the eye down. I don't want to go above. That's kind of what I'm doing is keeping this V shape going. And I think that'll work something. Somebody else said that too. Deborah. Like I said, I put the link to this particular transfer in the description, but you can also use that link to get to the other ones. Just go to Dixie Bell's. Dixie Bell redesigned their site not long ago, so it might feel a little different when you get there, but go to their bells and whistles transfers. See their full line. They still have all the other ones, should have all the other ones that they did before. You've seen me do the cherry blossom one. That was a great one. That looks so good on the French provincial dresser we did. It's easy for me to forget all the ones I've done, but I didn't do sunflowers. I was gonna say, I almost, I tried to do the sunflower, it didn't work out. So we need something the problem with this one pop, poppy here, it's the same height. And in fact, it's the same. Can you see this? This is, I think I was kind of indicating this earlier. Some of their transfers, it's the same art. So if I just do that, it's going to be like, duh, they're right next. So it may be better for me to, um, if I can bring it down, then it's not so noticeable that it's the same flower might be nice to go a little bit up if i do that it'll be asymmetrical you see how much higher this side is so i'm actually looking at my screen to see how that would look i think that's good right there right y'all y'all agree Let me just tell you, I have only used, so this is what I have left. This is most of, so I have part of that sheet, part, a lot of this one, and I still have another sheet I haven't touched. So there's a lot left in here. And um, I'm just kind of looking for what would be the next flower that would be nice in the set. That makes sense in that little space. So that's kind of where we're just, it might not be so bad to have something go back up again. So let me think about that. I still have this, oh look, I still have this sheet. Probably too high. I could go lower, but I don't think I want another butterfly. So let's just put that on hold. I know you're on the other side of the camera going, don't do do the other one. I can hear you screaming at me. Rude. Okay, something like that would work. This little purple one. So let's do that. We're just kind of making our way to the middle. At some point I gotta call it, gotta call it like too many, too many flowers. 
The nice thing is I have flowers that if I want, I can come over to the side and I can do some little little vignette like right in here. So I, I'll, I'll save that for another time like tomorrow. All right, so how are we doing here? I think it's composing well. It looks pretty balanced. I think that's not bad. It could be that we just need something to kind of tuck in here. Okay, we're gonna overlap too. We're committed, all in. No turning back. Any other cliches we can say? Anybody else wants me to a cliche we can borrow? Better than the back of my head. Okay. So right down here I have a stem. It's going AWOL. I'm going to slowly peel that off. It's stretching right now. See that? See this little piece? The nice thing is it didn't break, so I was able to recover that. Just give it a little quick. Use my blade. And if you want, you can go back to your sandpaper. So last look, I think it's coming along really nice. I do, um, I do love this part of what we get to do as furniture artists is do art on a canvas of furniture. The transfers make that ability for having to paint it by hand but we did this what in just an hour's time. I couldn't have, I couldn't have painted that. Don't get me wrong, I could paint this, but I wouldn't paint that. And um, this is totally the way to go. I love the fact that I have so much of this transfer left that if I wanted to come back and add a butterfly or a bee, um, I could. All right, well, thanks for hanging with me. I know it was a longer life, but uh, that's how we roll. And I appreciate you guys' support, your encouragement. Uh, if you get an opportunity to use the link, that always helps me out greatly. And uh, pass this on to someone who might need some information or uh, maybe some bravery to try out some transfers. I'm Aaron with Bowtie Treasures. I'm delighted to be here with you tonight, this Friday night, here in the Bowtie Treasures studio. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Do something creative. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow night. Until then, y'all take care. We'll see you later. That's the end of the show. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell before you go. Bye.